from the Empire State to the Golden Gates. This is Quad Radio USA. With all the dirt from the world of ATV motocross and GNCC racing, here's Mr. Ten Seconds, Rodney Tomlin. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Quad Radio, and welcome to the VP Racing Field Big Buck GNCC. It is round four of the Grand National Cross Country Championship Series, and we start our week's preview of the Big Buck down in the... Uh, Pro-Am Pits, the XC2 Pro-Am Pits, and we're going to start with last race winner, and of course that's Braden Henthorne, and first and foremost, I just want to say congratulations to you on the start of a stellar season in the, uh, well, your rookie XC2 Pro-Am season, I guess it would be, Braden. Good job, bud. Thank you a lot. Tell us a little bit about uh, how things have been going. Obviously, we've seen uh, really great performances, uh, two of them anyway, a, a second, and then uh, then the win there at the last race, man. I mean, obviously, uh, things are starting to click. Didn't click too well in Florida for you, though, I don't guess, huh? Well, Florida was all right. Florida was my second. Oh, so no, that's right. Okay, so we got your second, but it was Georgia a few days later that got you then, right? Yeah, Georgia, we had, uh, well, in, in the end, it was all clutch problems, so we got that fixed. Santo helped me out and got it all together, and come back and show them what we had. Tell us a little bit about that race in North Carolina, man. I know it's one of those that a lot of people either love it or they hate it or they just go and get what they can out of the day because you never know what's going to happen in those mountains. Yeah, it was it was love and hate both for me, really. It was it was just all about my start. I had practice starts and practice starts. And had, an all, had an all right start. I think I was sixth, fifth in the woods, whatever, and then... Me and me and Gabe hooked up for most of the day, and we just rode and rode and rode. And uh, I think Eric, he was out out front all day, and we just we just both put our heads down and fought together, me and Gabe, and come back and it was in like the last two miles, I got around Gabe and was running running everything I had, and I came around the, the last turn of the woods, and there was Eric. He was in a, he was in a tree, man. It was best feeling ever. I come out in the field and I just knew I had it. It was awesome. Yeah, I can imagine, and I know it probably had to be one of the worst feelings that Eric. Uh, happened to, to be feeling at that point because the hurricane has been gunning for a win for the last couple of years in that uh, XC2 Pro-Am class and here comes his young teammate and steals it away from him. I'm sure he's glad that it was you rather than somebody else but at the same time Ed, I can only imagine that was a pretty rough day for him. Yeah man, I, I don't know. It felt good to win but I'd like to see him win one too. I felt bad for him. I'd like to see him get out there too. But at the same time if it comes down to it and the chips are down you'd rather see you there, right? Oh yeah, it's on. <laughs> I like the way that works. Now tell me a little bit about the team you're with, the Reese Racing. I know that uh, this is a team that came into being there last year, and it seems like uh, that the team has really expanded here in 2012. Yeah, last year it was just a few guys, and this year, I mean, Santa helped me out a little bit last year, did my shocks and whatnot, and then this year he really stepped up and really wanted to help me out and gave me everything I needed and helped me out a lot, and he picked, he picked up uh, Bryson and Kylie, and he's got uh, David and James Reeves out there too, and me and Eric, so it's pretty pretty. <laughs> Pretty good team. Bryson Neal's who you're talking about. He took your place in that College A class, I guess, huh? Yeah, he's he's been my good friend for a while. I'd like to see him pick up right where I left off. So, I mean, that's all well and good and everything, but what happens next year after he wins the College A class and he decides to step it up? You guys are going to be going head-to-head then. A well, different story then. Yeah, you want to see him do good, but you want to do better, right? Oh, yeah. Hey, let's talk a little bit about it down here at Big Buck, man. How's this place treated you traditionally in, in, in your amateur years heading into this? Uh, last year, not good. Had uh, wore a hole in my shock line, so I didn't finish here last year. But I think on the 300 two years ago, I was, I think I was top three. I don't think I won it, but I think it was top three. So if you can keep away from the mechanical issues, this is a track that you feel pretty well suited to, then, it sounds like. Oh, yeah, I love this track a lot. It's a lot of fun. Good flow. It's a good place. I know there's been a lot of changes to the track this year. Barry uh, Hawk, uh, the track designer this year, they say that there's a lot of differences and a little bit different flow, and I'm sure it's going to be just as good as any of the ones pre- previous to this, but have you had a chance to check out what they have lined up for you guys this year? Yeah, just actually just got back from biking the track. It, Barry, he did, did a pretty good job of making a lot of new stuff, and that hill climb out there is going to be fun, and 
Creek Jam's pretty notorious for this place too, so I'm ready to get out there and try it out. No doubt, and I hear that the, the hill climb could be something that rivals the Ironman hill climb. Do you do you see that happening? Uh, I think the Ironman's a little a little bigger deal. I I don't know. Me and me and Adam we rode together here last week or so, and we played around on some hills. I think for me and him anyway, it'll be pretty easy. Piece of cake, huh? Oh yeah. All right, buddy. What? So you're expecting to do well here this year? I'd really hope to. All right, man. Good luck to you, and we hope the best for you, all right? Thank you a lot. All right, that's Braden Henthorne, folks. He's on the DeRisi Racing Machine, currently coming off of his first XC2 Pro-Am win, and uh, I'm sure he's gunning for more. We'll see if he can make it happen here at the Big Buck this year. That's Braden Henthorne. I'm Rodney Tomlin. This is Quad Radio.